We have seen many um, terrible situations. Donald Trump has stepped up his attacks against sanctuary cities like New York. Immigrant communities across the country bracing for an ICE crackdown. We are an organization that believes no one should be deported. It's a light for, for all immigrants to come here. We don't care what country you're from, we don't care what language you speak, what your religion, what your history, what your sexuality, nothing. If you are facing deportation, we will be there to support you. If I had not found the new sanctuary, my husband would be in Santo Domingo, the first thing. And we would have died, I think. The word immigrant is so toxic and poisonous right now. So rather than talk about why immigrants are human beings and need to be respected, we just change the term and start with friends. For the friends that do reach out to us, if they're in detention or if they're in removal proceedings, we give them the support that they need, we give them the community. We've had friends who were ready to check out, ready to sign voluntary departure. ICE picked me up, said they're charging me for overstaying in the country, where I spent three months inside a facility with 64 inmates in a housing unit. The detention centers are everywhere. They're basically in our backyard. They're worse than prison. They're treated inhumanely. Just everything about the conditions there are, are horrible. The public needs to know what's really going on inside. They treat you like a dog. These are human beings and they come with stories of violence and trauma and they come seeking help. Juana she is the spouse of a friend who's still in detention. He's been in the country for 30 years as a legal permanent resident, and he's fighting his deportation case. It's really difficult. He was taken in in front of his three children. Well, the day they detained my husband, he was collecting the children in the school. It was frustrating for him. Six policías de ICE lo detuvieron y lo trajeron. Fue algo terrible en ese momento que que yo no sabía qué hacer, no sabía no sabía qué estaba pasando. Just that process itself is uh, very dehumanizing. They were waiting for him downstairs. They grabbed him, they handcuffed him, and told my mom to come down to pick. Me and my brother and sister. The Supreme Court themselves have said that you can equate deportation to a death sentence. So right now we have about 400 cases of people in detention. We don't turn anyone away. We find a way to help them. When a friend of ours is taken or summarily detained at a check-in, the community responds. We show up in court. We show up at ICE check-ins with 10, 15, 20, 50 volunteers supporting the person. You know, you strange, you're going to a strange land. You're looking for help. You're looking for justice. You're looking for someone to hurt, to, to hear your complaint, to hear you. And you're just lost in the system. You don't know what's next. So New Sanctuary Coalition actually helped people navigate the forms and the systems and all the bureaucracy that they need in order to fight their cases. We will prepare paperwork, but we will also accompany them, even though they're in detention, we will have volunteers there to meet them when they are in court. We make sure that ICE and the courts know that these are not just numbers, that these are human beings who have people that care about them. If you don't find some organization as New Sanctuary, you need to pay for it, and I don't have the money to do it. And after I found New Sanctuary, everything became easy for me. When I came the first time, Y yo me sentí como que había llegado a un lugar donde ya yo estaba segura. Comenzaron ellos a enseñarme el proceso, me ayudaron a conseguir un buen abogado para mi esposo. Eh, ellos me han ayudado prácticamente en todo. She's not as afraid because she has become empowered. She knows that we are there fighting and she sees what it means to have community behind them. So the whole program itself is to create a network, a safety net that has made an impact not only on friends, on our volunteers, but also on the immigration system itself. The need is there. Hopefully we'll be able to branch out and get more support, more resources so that we can, you know, reach every single person that reaches out to us. Thank God I'm here. My prayer was answered by New Center with the grace of God. Don't give up. You fight to the end. And that's what we teach people to do, fight to the end.
We came here without nothing. We find a new sanctuary of friends, of brothers, just, they are there. If you need something, they are there. You know, I feel grateful. New sanctuary is the best, it's the best.